the, the way to prosper, you have to soon forget bad things. The enemy wants us to remember bad things. He never wants us to remember the good things. Because when you think on good things, you can prosper. But when you think on evil things, it, it upsets you. And that's why they say the anger rests in the bosom of a fool. Because an anger, angry person is a miserable person. An angry person is a person that don't feel good. They, they, they don't like their surrounding. They're just upset. And when you're angry, you make stupid decisions. An angry person makes stupid decisions. Uh, uh, and what had occurred here was uh, 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 while Moses was leading these people Amalek attacked them but he attacked from the rear he attacked the feeble ones the sick ones the women and the children and by the time the, uh, it was made known to Moses they was already in the camp yeah. Moses this is not going to work and he looked out and he called Aaron the priest his oldest brother talk to me somebody and then he asked for her the magistrate who was a judge and he said, come go with me. See, when you're trying to get the victory, you need some strong peoples on your side. You cannot defeat the enemy when you're weak. My Bible says, finally, my brother, and be strong in the Lord. Mm, yes, sir. Mm, he said that. Uh, the Lord is good, isn't it? Look at somebody and say, the Lord has been good to me. Yes, he have. Yes, he have. He, he, he attacked him from the rear. And that's what the devil does. He, he attacked you from the rear. He come when you least expect him to come. He, he attacked you when you're not expecting him to attack you. That's why the psalm that said in the 55th division of the psalm, he said, if it had been an enemy, I could have bored it. I could have understood it. He wasn't expecting it. Have you ever been on attack and you wasn't expecting it? How did you ever been attacked that they wasn't expecting? You could understand certain people's attack you. But some people, they catch you off guard. They catch you napping. And so, they knew that. that, 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 that but they felt though, as though the enemy thought that it was only because of this Moses and Joshua that they was getting by. So that's why they attacked them from the rear. Attacked them when they weren't looking. But thank God for the eyes of the Lord. Because the Bible said the eyes of the Lord is in every place. That's why we ought to have a prayer life. You ought to pray about things you don't see. Pray about things you can't see. Pray about things before you see them. Talk to me, somebody. Look at somebody and say, beware of the enemy. That's why you got to keep your praise up. Y'all going to talk to me a little while in here? Look at your neighbor and say, the Lord has been good to me. Y'all going to talk back to me today and say, the Lord has been mighty good to me. Everyone had a place to be in. Joshua was the warrior so he took her who was a judge who was a magistrate if you please and and placed him on his left side because on the left side that was your vulnerable side and her who had knowledge who had ability he put him there and on his right he took his brother Aaron, who was of the priesthood, and placed him there. And while he was there, they were just on both sides, just standing looking at him. And so Moses walked up to the mountain like God told him to stretch both hands in there. That's what you do when somebody draw a 38 on you and say, put them up. In the house of God, we can't hardly get them up here. 
And while Moses' hand was up, Israel getting the victory. Y'all gonna talk to me while his hand was up? Folks was being delivered. While his hand was up, they could drink good water. While his hand was up, God was keeping them well. While his hand was up, the shoes wouldn't wear out. Talk to me, somebody. While his hand was up, they was not getting old. While his hand was up, they was at peace. But after you fight so many battles, I don't care what you say, man is not God. After you fight so many battles, you get tired. Sometimes you get tired of disobedient people. You get tired of trying to lead them right. Everything you try to do is right, somebody's knocking it down. Somebody go to hunching other people and saying, I got a better plan. And, it's got, and so Moses, held, Lord, he kept his hands up in the air and, and he looked down in the valley. That's why he was on the hill where he could see. When he looked down in the valley, Joshua was just slaying them right.